Nice little Ford to start the day. Oh yeah, get the feet nice and wet. But it's a little deep, so I gotta focus. Good morning, y'all. Another beautiful day. Couldn't feel my sunglasses, couldn't see my sunglasses, got a little worried. Not that I need them today. It's uh, nothing but clouds and rain. Uh, yesterday, to be honest, I tried to take a couple videos, uh, but I couldn't because uh, it was raining. I don't know if you've ever tried to use a touchscreen in the rain, but it is impossible. Um, so, and my phone was kind of out of commission for anything other than music. I couldn't take any videos. Uh, which, it's supposed to rain again today. So, unfortunately, I'm like, you know, one of the most scenic parts of the trail. My phone is going to be useless and I like really won't be able to take too many videos. So I do apologize, but to recap, uh, this is day two of, or I camped in Yellowstone last night. So this is kind of day two from Mammoth. And uh, I went up to Gardner. I was planning on just taking a zero, but kind of got up and it was raining. And I looked at the forecast and it was gonna rain all day. So I said, I don't care, I'm taking another zero. So first double zero of the trail. Uh, so hopefully, you know, did it to miss the rain and then it just rained all day yesterday and it's supposed to rain most of the day. So again today, I think it's supposed to rain most of the day tomorrow as well. So it's really cool. But I guess I missed one day of rain, so that's something. Uh, yeah. So rain and Yellowstone probably just make me hate this park after this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's wet. And hopefully the rain will hold off until I can see some good views and get like one video um, of something cool. And then it can start raining. So anyway, hopefully I'll see you all down the trail. And that's about it for the morning. So until then. I guess I didn't have to wait too long for something cool. There's bridge here over a large roaring creek. I don't know which creek it is, but it's pretty cool. First bison of Yellowstone. Oh, and I'm giving him a very wide berth. The trail is actually down there. But I don't want to get charged by a buffalo. Because there was a woman who actually just recently had that happen. Had some pretty serious injuries, so I'm gonna stay up there, up here. I'm surprised there's not a herd around, but yeah, that is very cool. Oh, look at it laying down. It was so cool. But yeah, I'm gonna keep moving up the trail and let that one be. People say you don't get to see things on roadwalks. I just followed this buffalo for a mile just hanging out in the middle of the road now he finally left trying to give some space so I can cross oh I think there's a wolverine in those bushes there that's so cool that was one animal I was hoping to see now you can see it hey Oh, I'm so excited. If you look way out there in the distance, you can see, I believe that's a herd of pronghorns. Um, I did, I'm pretty sure I saw a male in the little, it's little antlers, little horns. Now this is another animal I wanted to see when I'm walking through here. This is awesome. Back to back too. All with a sick view and some clouds rolling in, so I gotta get to camp.
Good morning, y'all. Another beautiful day out here on the CDT. And uh, gonna be getting out of Yellowstone for a brief bit, exiting the park today. Um, just kind of how it's shaped. It's not like there's any reason, just the way the trail goes. Uh, and then I'll re-enter it for another day here in about two days or so. But anyway, yeah, you saw that ran into a buffalo this morning, just walking north up the trail. Uh, almost saw him too late, which is a little sketchy. Uh, you know, just kind of noticed a mass of brown fur, which is always scary. Um, and then realized less scary than I thought it was, but still a buffalo will mess you up. So kind of scurried off trail, tried to get out of its sight line and just let it walk by and got a cool video out of it. But still definitely not my favorite thing that's ever happened. <laughs> get the adrenaline pumping a little bit first thing in the morning, wake you up. But yeah, doing like 20 or 25 miles, something like that. I don't know, going to wherever. At least getting out of the park, you can kind of just camp where you want to and don't have to have an exact set plan. Oh, yesterday, I was going to talk about this. I did a road walk. Yeah, blue blaze to blue blaze. Um, but it was 100% the right decision. A massive thunderstorm. Probably the worst thunderstorm I've been in since the AT. Um, just opened up. Rain dropping lightning and uh kind of when it opened up i would have been near the top of amethyst mountain at like 9600 feet in a thunderstorm with a lot of lightning holding metal trekking poles so yeah, i'm very glad i did that rain or that road walk uh because uh you know first goal of the through hike is don't die uh that's mine at least and I feel like that walking the trail yesterday certainly would have tempted the fates and uh, put that number one goal in a little bit of jeopardy. So do not regret that one bit. But anyway, that is it for the morning. Um, hopefully no more directly running into large wild animals that can hurt me quite a bit. And we just see them from a distance and get some good views. Uh, so here's to that. I'll see y'all down the trail. Pretty awesome view up here after the rain. Good oh, morning, y'all. Another beautiful day. Actually, hopefully it stays beautiful. There's a, looks like a big kind of storm cloud above, but usually those don't. I say usually. Should find a tree to knock on. Um, but... Yeah, sure, hopefully it stays pretty nice. It's supposed to be scattered showers today, um, which usually means you will get rained on if you're a hiker. Um, but today is a town day, um, more than likely. Me and Snake Eyes, we were actually planning on going into uh, this place called the Pahaska TP Resort. And it's like a small spot to stay just outside of Yellowstone and have like a general store there. And it sounded, we actually called them, and it sounded like they had enough to do a resupply. Um, but the problem is, is that between me and him, I think like half of our gear is just kaput. Uh, both of our sleeping pads are have multiple holes in them. We just wake up on the ground every morning. Um, his water filter, he lost the sock. My socks are all wet which is just unpleasant. Um, yeah, a couple things that need to get fixed. So if Cody, Wyoming has a outfitter, which I'm sure they do, it's a big city, kind of in a wilderness area outside of Yellowstone. So hopefully we can go there and, you know, rectify all these issues and then get back on trail for another short day tomorrow because uh, we left Yellowstone yesterday, 
but are re-entering it in like 30 miles ish so it kind of ends up in a weird area where you either go in and just camp illegally which i don't like doing because it puts a bad name on through hikers if you get caught um so i'd rather just camp outside the park and then cruise through it the next day so i think that's the plan uh, this is right above me but yeah that's pretty much it uh it frosted last night which was cool got like down to 30 probably pretty cold um and yeah that's about it so i guess i'll see y'all down the trail pretty decent views go ahead and flip the camera around because even outside of yellowstone is beautiful but yeah we'll flip the camera and i'll see you down the trail Whew. still beautiful but nice little burn area uh, coming down off that so you can't really see much but yeah and there's that storm cloud and hopefully it doesn't rain nice little view gotta love the clouds right now and i'll be following that river down at the bottom of the valley all the way to the highway <laughs>